In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated Pythagorean theorem in PowerPoint. Maybe this could be very beneficial for maths teachers to train the, their students in a much better animated way. So let me just show you how it works. As you can see here, I've created this right triangle with A, B and C. I've put one angle here and I've put the largest area which is C and the leg is A and the other leg is B. So what happens when I click it will create three more lines here it added here and on my next click it creates three more rectangles and it converts to a square b square and c square and then what happens here is and on my next click it moves up and it says a square plus b square equals to c square so as i said it this could be very beneficial for maths teachers as well as for the students and if there are any shortcomings in this video please accept my apologies because i'm not a science sorry a math student so if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you'd like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial to make a Pythagorean theorem, add a new slide, then go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes, I'm going to select the right triangle, draw a right triangle, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it black and I'm going to increase the weight to four and a half point. You can see here and shape fill, you can choose any light color here and make sure that it is aligned center and align middle then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add one angle here for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle here and shape outline make it black and then weight also i'm going to give the same here and the color i have to make the same color here okay so just make sure that it is same it's 0.29 also here the height and weight and let me just put it exactly here so this is the angle so we have got three sides this is the longest one is the c and this a and b here so what i'm going to do is the longest side which is the here i'm going to add the text a sorry here the c so let me just type c here and then i'm going to choose a font called ink fill or any other font you can choose it increase the size you can see here so this is the c press ctrl d and then this is a the this leg is a and the bottom leg here it's b so you can see here i have created a right triangle with a b and c the next step is i'm going to add three lines here for that go to insert shapes select the line you can see here i can just use this line also and then I can just let me just zoom in I'm going to add one line from here till here you can see here and hold the shift key so that you get the perfect straight line and then go to insert add line for the B you can see here let me just put it here so this is the B here you can see and later on we can just increase or decrease the size also not a problem but you have to make sure that it is proper line and then i'm going to add one more to the right side or sorry to the c side so you can see here this is the line c okay now i'm going to select all these three lines by holding the shift key shape outline make it black and i'm going to increase the weight to the same here so it looks something like this then i'm going to rename the line names here so in the home tab go to select selection pane you can see here this line i'm going to make it exclamation exclamation line a i will say this will be exclamation exclamation line b why i'm doing this exclamation because i'm going to use the morph transition so that uh, the lines will do the animation properly so and then this one is again exclamation exclamation line c all right so let me just close this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just place it exactly on top of this okay see if the size is bigger what you can do is, again you can hold the shift key and reduce the size just a minute what i'm going to do now let me just give some different color for the time being so that 
we fit it properly again hold the shift key and i think yeah this is okay so this one will go here and again i'm going to change the color to black this one i'm going to make it a red color again and then this also i'm going to reduce the size so this see it's bigger here so again hold the shift key so it's some time consuming job but once it's done it looks very nice so so this one will go here again so this would be again black color and then this also i'm going to make it red color and then you can see here you can just put it here so the line again you can see here like this something like this all right and make this also a black color so once we have placed this one what i'm going to do is i'm just going to duplicate this slide right mouse click and just say duplicate the slide and go to the transition and select the morph now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this line you can see here the line the height is 1.5 i can just drag this one and put it here so it should be 1.5 only make sure that the height and width is same should not be changing then here this one i'm going to make it this 2.17 i'm just dragging this and making this 2.17 also all right and then this one is 2.03 so let me just make it here 2.03 three all right so now what happens if i do a slide show when i click you can see here this line comes something like this all right when i click again so it comes like this now i'm going to duplicate this so right mouse click and duplicate and here i'm going to add three rectangles so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here shape outline make it black and you can give the same height and width and shape fill maybe you can give some different color here you can see something like this and then just send this to back all right so it will be visible so a i'm just going to move in the center then i'm going to add one more rectangle go to insert shapes select the rectangle and this side for the b here again the same one fill with red and send this to back and then the third one go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle and here we need to just uh, change it a little bit you can see here we have to just put it something like this so that it is matching with our this one all right so it is red color sorry black color i'm going to give the same weight and shape fill you can give some different color and send this to back and make sure that it is properly aligned let me just zoom it you can see here i have to just align it a little bit more and i think this is okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a a square b square c square so i'm just going to select this duplicate press ctrl d and reduce the size and i'm going to make it square here let me just reduce the size further so a square ctrl d here i'm going to bring this down and this one will be b square and this one i'm going to move it up and then duplicate this and this will be c square all right so let me just show you once again when i click it comes a b c and again on my next click it comes like this a square b square and c square the next step what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this right mouse click duplicate slide you can see here and then uh, i'm going to just copy this you can see here Control d to duplicate move this aside here let me just so do the same thing Control d move this aside this also Control d move this aside all right and for this transition i'm going to make it none and what i'm going to do is the external 
extra lines i'm just going to delete it you know these extra lines you can see here i'm just going to delete it now this area i'm going to select only this part and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one then i'm going to select this and again bring exactly on top of this one all right you can see here i'm going to make it something like this put it exactly on top of this so actually there are two things one thing is a group one and the other one is a separate uh, rectangles now i'm going to duplicate this again you can see here and the transition make it move and then this one you can see here this part i'm going to move it here a square okay and then this part move it here and c square this area i'm going to move it here and this one i'm going to reduce the size you can see here and put it somewhere down so we have got the a square plus b square equals c square so let me just put it here go to insert text box not the text box you can go to shapes also here you can see here this plus this shape outline no outline and make it black and go to insert shapes i'm going to select equal sign again no outline and black color so let me just play now how it looks this is the first slide so when i click it comes a b and c the lines and then it moves and then the circle comes and again on my next click it moves up and it says a square plus b square equals to c square so this is the simplest way you can just uh, use the pythagorean uh, theorem to teach the kids so it's just a basic one you can do a lot of things with this idea